Sheila. And Sheila Kelleher. I'm from a place called Donnerail in North Cork. And when did you hear the first time in your life about Magic Mile? My first time uh, was in 1998 when my husband got sick and when his friends, his colleagues and his friends and neighbours uh, heard what, that he was ill, he had a brain tumour, they wanted to see him get better. So we got f two free seats out to Medjugorje on the 8th of September 1998. And we arrived on Our Lady's birthday mm -hmm. and he, he enjoyed it but he was very ill while he was out here. So on, we came with Finbar all area, God rest Finbar's soul and all their souls. And we went home and he enjoyed it and he loved it and he said that he wouldn't come back again but that I was to come uh, and bring some of our children, which we have seven children, five girls, six girls and one boy. Mm -hmm. And up to this day, they all have been here. So he passed away on the 11th of May 1999 mm -hmm. and I think it was August 99 my daughter Susan which is involved in Medjugorje now uh, said ma'am we're going to Medjugorje and I said no I'm not going so she said it's booked so we came again in September 99 with Finbar and we came uh, my daughter Deirdre came uh, 2000 and then two more the daughters Elaine and Julian all my daughters have been so in nine, 2001 and two I'm not sure uh, I, had a great, I have a great friend father Pat Scanlon and he said we take if I wouldn't I start taking groups myself so we started and I think it was eight we started eight people so I worked with father Pat and Marion Pilgrimages and uh, Joe Walsh tours up to uh, October 2014 and I've travelled with Aer Lingus since then, coming four or five times a year. Very successful and very peaceful and I love working with the people that come to Medjugorje with me, they're great friends. So I thank Our Lady for all she's doing for me and my family and hopefully she'll look after her, her mantle around us all and that my dear husband is with her. That's great. So beautiful. And do you pray the rosary? Yes. Uh, Why pray. do you pray the rosary? I pray the Our Lady to thank the rosary to thank Our Lady for everything. And you know, that's, I don't know, only for my rosaries and my prayers, I don't know where I would be, but it's my faith that's keeping me going. Mm -hmm. yeah. And can you tell people who are maybe not Catholic, why are you Catholic? What is the beauty of, of our faith? It's the beauty of... of I love being a Catholic because I, you know, it's, it's uh, I think people don't realize how much prayer and their faith would mean to them that they should, you know, pray the rosary every day or even start with a decade mm -hmm. and to continue as, as they go along. Mm -hmm. And for you, what, what is God the Father for you? How would you describe if they hadn't got the father and his blessed mother. And what would you tell people, you've been with so many groups here, what would you tell people, what is so special about this place? Why should they maybe want to come to Medjugorje? From, from the minute you arrive, you know, I think, speaking for myself, whatever is at home or in your family, mm -hmm. you just kind of, the peace comes to, to you and you feel so peaceful and so blessed to be here and um, you just get into the prayer and everything you forget what happens at home or what ha happened at home and you just pray and from there on then things improve for me. Wow, thank you so much for this beautiful interview. Thank you.